let's learn how to make a dotted paper template in Illustrator in this quick and simple tutorial. With Illustrator open, create a new document by going to File, New, come to Print and select US letter format, switch your metrics to inches, make sure your CMYK color mode and 300 ppi ready for print. Once happy, press Create. With your document open, come down to your fill and stroke, switch them so you've got a black fill and turn off your stroke. From there, come to your shape tool and select ellipse. Hold shift and drag out a simple ellipse. Select it with the selection tool, then come over to your swatches panel. And if you can't find this, go to window swatches and simply click and drag the ellipse into the swatches panel to create a swatch. With the swatch selected, double click to go into the swatch. So once I've double clicked inside my swatch, I should now have something that looks like this. This is where I can set my dotted pattern. And once I've made any changes in here, I can click done to come back into the main artboard. So inside your swatch, make sure your tile type is set to grid. You can then select the dot with the selection tool, zoom in to get closer, hold shift, and you can change the size of the dot by dragging in as such. I can also go to the transform panel here and I can change the width of the dot here accordingly. So for example, if I want a 0.1 inch dot, I can set my width at 0.1 and my height at 0.1 as such. So once I've set my dot size, now it's time to create my dot pattern. And so select the dot with the selection tool. I'm now gonna select size tile to art. And now in the horizontal space and the vertical space, and I can set the frequency of the repeating dot. So say, for example, I want a dot every inch. I can set horizontal space into one inch and vertical space into one inch. And there you go. Now I have a dot every inch. Last thing I'm going to do then is click and drag the pattern up into the top left here. And I can change this anytime I like. So say, for example, I want a dot every half inch. I can do one divided by two, press enter. I get a pattern every 0.5. And then all I have to do is click and drag back to the top left. Say I want to do it every third, I can do one divided by three, click horizontal and vertical, and then again, click and drag back to the top left. And remember at any time, I can also change the dot size, either freehand in it using the selection tool, or I can come to the transform panel and I can change the size of the dot here accordingly. And always remember to click and drag into the top left. So once you've happy you set your pattern, simply click done to come back into the artboard. Press or command control zero to see the full screen. And now to see your pattern, use the selection tool to simply delete the circle, which has the swatch applied to it. And now to see my pattern in full shape, I can come to my rectangle tool, make sure my dot pattern is selected, and I can just click and drag out onto the screen. And there you go, there's my dot pattern. Let's now add some margins to this. Go to view, rulers, show rulers, and then view, guides, and make sure unlock guides selected. So click and drag and ruler onto the canvas, select it with the selection tool, and then come to the transform panel to set it on the X or Y axis. So I want a margin of 0.5 inches. So I'm gonna set my X axis to 0.5, press enter, click and drag another ruler out, select it, transform, and I'm going to set 8.5, because that's the width of the document, minus 0.5, press enter, and then that gives me eight. And now I can do the same on the Y, so click and drag a top ruler out, select it, transform, and on the Y axis, I'm gonna set this to 0 plus 0.5, and finally, click and drag a final ruler, select it, transform. The height of my document is 11 inches, so 11 minus 0.5, press enter, and there we go, I now have my 0.5 inch margins around the document. With the guides done, go to view, guides, and lock guides. I'm now gonna select my dotted pattern with my selection tool, click and drag over the edges. If I click and hold shift, I can now drag out as many dots as I like. So using the anchor points and the direct selection tool, I'm now going to align this to my guides. So click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and lastly, click and drag. I can then use the selection tool to just play around with this and align it to the guides. And if I go to view, guides, hide guides, I've then got my dotted paper. Remember now at any time I can go back in and change this by selecting the rectangle, coming to my swatches panel and double clicking to go back into the pattern. So I can make this dot smaller if I zoom in, select it, transform. Let's say I wanna make this 0.05 inches, the dot smaller, size tile to R, press done, and then if I return then to the main document, you can see now the dots have got smaller. I will need to readjust the rectangle using the selection tool because the size of the pattern has changed, but this is very easily done. So bring on my guides and I'm just gonna play around with this until I get it right. Once my design is ready, let's now export it. So first, I'm gonna save the Illustrator file. So let's go to File, Save. I'm gonna save this to my computer and let's save it to my generic images folder. And I'm just gonna call this dotted outline. 
.ai and remember format illustrator press save press ok so now I have the source file saved finally now I'm going to export this as a PDF so that I can print this out so let's go to file save as again let's save this to my images I'll keep it called dotted outline but I'm going to set my format to Adobe PDF press save let's set my PDF preset to PDF 2001 happy with compression marks and bleeds and all those other settings so once I'm ready click save PDF press OK and now if I come to my images folder there's my dotted outline original illustrator file and then there's the PDF ready to print so there you have it that's how you create a dotted paper template great for bullet journaling in illustrator I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.